or two, and I've never seen anybody so happy. Well, well thank you. I really appreciate you know, it. It's really, we really yeah. love it, and we love what you've done for us. Thanks thank very much. Thank you very much. much. Sure. This videotape oh, now. <laughs> this is Joseph Wiener. Now, Joe, what do you think of this event? You enjoying yourself? Is it nice to be here with all these old-timers? <laughs> You're not an old-timer, are you? No, I'm just a kid. Do you enjoy it all or not? What are you making? Are you enjoying it? Yeah, he's just doing a little video. That's yeah, all. He's too young to know most of these people. That's right. <laughs> We've got Larry Scott down here. Larry and Joe go back a long way. Yeah, we do. Back to about 1920. <laughs> <laughs> Not that far. Say how old he is, but he certainly looks no, lo no older than about 35. What does age have to do with anything, right? Right. Okay. Age, you know what age is? There are more people that are aged prematurely because they think of age. Uh -huh. think about it. Okay. You know, in our society, we pigeonhole people. We put the, you know, the young kids here, and then we put the teenagers. Why do you think we think of sex and uh, promiscuous sex? We think of dope and incorrigible people. Mm -hmm. And then you think of 40 years old. Oh my God, they're starting to get middle aged now. They're going to go down the tube. Then you think of the senior citizen. You think of them dribbling old poops. I'm telling you, this. You put these little seeds in people's brains. You know, the good book says, by constantly beholding, you become changed. If you start putting these little seeds in people's minds, they start thinking this. I know guys that are 80, 85 years old that are younger than a lot of friends of mine that are 20 years old. Yeah. There are 90 years old guys that are doing triathlons, they're doing all these uh, marathons. Yeah. It's, it's strictly in your brain. You know? you know what the important thing in life is? This second. If you're not happy this second, you'll never make it. The only thing in life, you only have 100 units of energy, right? Right. If you take 50 units of energy thinking what you used to do, another 50 what you're going to do, you've got nothing for this second. If a person could take all their energy and put it into the second, they cannot fail. This is true. Beautiful. So it's all in the mind. But you've but got beautiful no, skin, you've got hair. Nobody, I mean, see, my God. You know what you said? It's all in the mind. That is not right. You can't separate the mind and the body. It's impossible. If this body is not working, it's a circulation which I mean, it helps to increase circulation right. to your brain. So they go together as a team. You can't separate them. You know, think about it. Yeah. Take your finger. Let me, let me, let me, give me your finger. Okay. You've got a million dollars in the bank. You've got a perfect mate. You've got right. a great business going. You're, right. you're the great judge. Right. What are okay. you thinking about? Ouch. Right. <laughs> what are you thinking about? Put, the pain, the pain. What are you thinking about? Your money right. in the bank. See, you can't separate the mind and the right. body. It's impossible. Okay. That's why it's so important for physical fitness, to keep this body free of aches and pain, keep the circulation going. See, you're working together as a team. Remember, the body is your brain slave. My 640 muscles are my slave, and my brain tells it what to do, right? The brain is a computer this, that gets everything going. If this slave right. is in lousy shape, I'm going to be in lousy shape. Like a lot of people, they say, well, I'm going to go on a vacation. They go on a vacation, they still take their body. They can't leave their old aching body at home, can they? Right. <laughs> you know what life is? Yeah, I know what you're saying. It's physical fitness. What you eat, the exercise you do, and putting together the brain and the body, that's what life's all about. But you have to work at it. I'll give you two little, two little things. If you'll use these two words, anything in life is possible. Pride and discipline. Just think about There's it. the answer. It's, it's enthusiasm. How'd the man has enormous enthusiasm. How'd the Japanese do it? Go on. How'd the Germans do it? Pride and discipline. That's what we have to get back in America today. Yeah. We've lost it. We don't believe in God. We don't believe in our country. We don't believe in anything. Don't believe what's in the family. Man, what's the man? We don't believe in a damn thing anymore. Yeah. That's what's sad. Yeah. That's why I'm so proud to be involved with this physical fitness. Right. This, this is the salvation of humanity right here. When your health goes, when your enthusiasm, when everything goes, you've got nothing. And the only way you can keep that nothing is the, how you think, the food you eat, and the exercise you do. The exercise is king, nutrition's queen. There you have it. Mag's video. Can you hear me or not? Bob Kennedy here for Muscle Mag's video. Hi. Uh, we've got Bill Pearl here. Uh, He's won just about every title there is. Mr. America, Mr. Universe, many, many times. And now he's at the event here. Bill, do you enjoy this sort of thing? And uh, what do you think of it? It's probably one of the highlights of my entire bodybuilding career. Last August, I started my 50th year in weight training. And this is one of the, the greatest things that's happened to me in all the 50 years that I've trained, Bob. 50 years of weight training. Bill, you don't even look 
50 years old. I'm You're a good you. guy, thank you. <laughs> so the thing is, um, are you still getting up early in the morning to train? Yes, I do. I live in a very small town of about 2,000 people, and I get up around 2.30 to 3 o'clock to train. 2.30 yes. to 3 o'clock to yes. train. What go, What happens then when you get up? Uh, I, I have to train because there's nothing else to do in a town of 2,000 <laughs> population. <laughs> That's fantastic. Thank Thanks, Betty. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Fitness. I won't say how... Say how hi. Bob Kennedy here with Muscle Mag's uh, Muscle Video. I've got Bob Del Monte here. He's an old-time photographer. He's been in the sport for many, many years. He's much older than he looks. He only looks 35 years old. He keeps himself enormously fit, believe me. Now, how do you keep yourself so fit and looking so good, Bob? You know, the real secret, Kennedy, is uh, Russ Warner. I'm at the Buena Park Wax Museum, and he come over and got me out of it uh, today. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think no, so. I, I think I think the important factor is having uh, good genes and also taking care of yourself. There's uh, seven laws to nature: proper rest, proper diet, proper exercise, uh, proper mental attitude. Get a little fresh air if you can find that sunshine and drinking uh, water. But most of all, I think your your mind's got to be fulfilled. You got to be happy, and you got to do things in life. You got to be a, a doer and a goer and a winner. Right. I, I still have grandkids, and I uh, water ski and I snow ski with them. Uh, I golf and I play tennis and I swim and I'm uh, I'm active because activity is life and stagnation is death. And once you sit down, this is like Confucius say, man who sit on bottom end up on bottom. <laughs> and, and also success needs no explanation or fake or no alibi. So, you know, the reason, I don't know whether I look or whether I uh, whether I feel good, but everybody tells me so in the Bible it says you are as you think it. So I walk around saying, man, I'm great. Can we dare ask how old you actually are. I'm 71. I have a birthday coming up uh, on the 9th of November, which will make me 72. 71 years old, skiing, snow skiing, swimming, running, and I understand you ran a marathon just a few weeks ago. Well, uh, two and a half uh, uh, months ago. Yeah, I was up in uh, Santa Fe, New Mexico. Uh, 7,100 feet up, and it was, it was quite quite hard. Unbelievable. Yeah, but I just made up my mind up to do it, and I walked a little of it. It wasn't all, uh, uh, and I did it uh, under five minutes, I mean, not five minutes, but five hours, yeah. but still, I it's still it very, very good. Yeah. All right, thanks very much, Bob, Bob Del Monte. Thanks so much. Kitty okay. here, <laughs> and she has the same name I do, I so I decided to take her home. <laughs> I think that's a very good idea, Larry. And Larry's still got his 20-inch arms, and he's 53 years old, ladies and gentlemen. Larry Scott, what a phenomenon of our times. And look at the wife. She's even younger looking. Incredible. Thanks, Larry. Thank you. You did very well. You're all big as hell. I can't believe you, old bugger. Gee.